What's up guys? Welcome back to Picket Build. Let's get back to work on this trailer. Alright, so in the last episode we were finishing up the bodywork. We got the underside of the truck bed finished. Uh, I've got the inside of the bed all rust converted and we've got the sides uh, panel beaded and body fillered and all that and so the next stage is to get some primer on there. So I went ahead and put two coats of rust converter back here and I've been letting that do its thing drying. I actually kind of dig the look it's kind of got a rat rod look to it but we're gonna get some bed liner on that and, and get that fresh and protected. So over here on the bodywork, guys, I'm not a professional body man, and so I've reached a stage where I'm trying to feel for highs and feel for lows, and you know, you, you scratch your head on this enough, and finally, let's just go ahead and get some primer on it, and then we can see the imperfections or see if I actually did a good job on the bodywork. And so that's the plan. And if there is any imperfections, we'll throw some high build primer on there and get it as good as we can. Okay guys, we have the back side of the tailgate and we're just going to prime the inside of it to prevent it from rusting. So we sprayed it with a direct to metal epoxy primer and sealer and this is the back side of the tailgate so we'll, it'll be protected. Okay I'm just getting around the edge, I'm not, I don't have to do the inside of the because it's, it's already protected pretty good, so, all right. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll put that cap back on. We've got this direct to metal primer. That's the activator. This is the gun we're gonna use. And then of course, just some wax and grease remover. And then after we epoxy primer, we're gonna come back with this Evercoat Feather Fill. Let's get set up. All right, let's go ahead and get our wax and grease remover onto the painting surface and get our mask on for sure. like our body work wasn't too bad we're gonna get some high build primer on this next take a look at the bed itself and then there's the tailgate all right let's get some high build primer on there we have high build primer Now, of course, I didn't do the bed. No point in that. We're going to raptor line that anyway. Got a little heavy right there. That's okay. We're going to have to block sand this all down again. So, more sanding. All right, now that we have some high build primer on there, let's put some guide coat on first. And then we're going to block sand it down with 180 grit and see where we're at.
All right, guys, we're in the final stages of prep. I'm using a scuff pad here, equivalent to about 800 grit, and it's gonna be our final stage of prepping this thing. Okay, guys, now, it's not perfect, but it is damn close. Good enough, I mean, we weren't gonna go this far anyway, so let's go with it. All right, guys, today is the day. It is 6 a.m. We are out here and let's go ahead and prep everything so we can get some paint on here. We're gonna do base coat and clear coat. Let me show you the stuff we're gonna use. Okay guys, we are going to fan out all the paint from the bottom of the garage door there. And we've got these parts sitting in here and we are ready for paint. Now, of course, I, I started taping this top here. I'm not going to do this top edge because that's going to be raptor lined. And I didn't tape that right there because obviously it's going to be raptor lined anyway. So even if we get base coat and clear on that, it's just going to add a layer. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, here's our paint guns. These are Devil Biss finish lines. We've got our tips. We're gonna use a 1.5 tip for the base coat and then a 1.3 tip for the clear coat. All right, I've got some new, new filters. Keep the water out of the lines. I've got a new regulator, mask, wax and grease remover uh, for paint prep. And then of course we've got our reducer. Two things of reducer. Now this is some old red that I have, I'm gonna combine those two and do the first couple layers in that red and then this is Toyota Red 3D7 and that's gonna be our final couple layers of base coat that's gonna match our Forerunner Red. And then of course I've got some Euro Clear here. I've got plenty of it, lacquer thinner to clean our parts and some rubber gloves. Let's get to work. All right, just a note, this is wax and grease remover right here and this little pump spray. We're gonna go around and wipe this thing down thoroughly. We're also gonna wet the floor uh, just to keep the dust at a minimum and hopefully we can get a good paint job in here and, and not have a bunch of particles in the paint or clear coat. Um, I'm not gonna film the painting part of it just because I don't wanna get paint and overspray all over the camera. And so, we'll see you guys when it's all finished. Alright, we've got base coat on now. We're letting this have a good flash time. I re-wet the floors in here. And let's lay some clear. We have paint! Let's take a close look. Yes. So we've got a good three layers of clear. It's looking good. Got the back done. if you guys can see that. I've got one run right there. Ah! That's hard to see. It's not terrible, but we've got a run, but no big deal. Let's take a look at the other side. This tailgate looks awesome. Of course, we didn't paint the back side. We're going to raptor line all of this back side black. Also going to raptor line this top edge. So, as soon as this cures out, that's the plan. Love it! Alright, we've got paint! Alright, this is Toyota Paint Code 3D7. It, it's the same red that's on my 89 Forerunner. Uh, so I painted this to match that. I can't wait to get this thing put back together. 
and on the trailer and behind the forerunner. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to start reassembly. And so that's the plan. All right. See you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys watching.